So this is Living Energy Farm. Uh, my name's Alexis Ziegler. I'm one of a number of people trying to build Living Energy Farm, which is a uh, going to be a community that uh, operates daily and also supports itself economically without uh, using fossil fuel. The most important part about making a zero fossil fuel community work is not the technology. People always want to know about the technology, and there are some interesting technologies we're using, but the main thing that makes it work is cooperation. If your goal is to really be environmental, you're going to have to do different, do things differently than most of what the American environmental movement is doing. Because most people in the world live sustainably already, because they can't afford to be, you know, industrial consumers. But they look poor to Americans, and Americans don't want to look poor, they want to look rich. What Amer American environmentalism is about is about taking wealthy people and making them feel better. And that's where we get hybrid cars and biodiesel and ethanol and grid-tied solar on these middle-class American homes. So the dominant trend out there by far is greenwash. There's, there's an intrinsic marriage in terms of physics oh, between renewable energy and community. It's something that you can't sell, Greenpeace can't sell it because Americans want their own homes. But the reality is, you know, even just a solar hot water system is fairly expensive, a good one. If you're building one just for yourself, it doesn't make any sense. You either don't build it or you don't build a very good one. If you're building it in cooperation with other people, you can pull your resources, you can build a better one, and it works better. With each one of these technologies, biogas, it's something you have to fiddle with every day. It works on a village level. Solar cooking is super simple, super easy. You can hardly even call it a technology. It's not, it, you know, it's just a reflective, uh, you know, a dish, a satellite dish, and your pot in front of it. How hard is that? But the reason it doesn't work is because in the commuter culture, people want to drive back and forth to work. Everything is compartmentalized, people don't have time to cook for other people. So the technologies are really dependent on the social arrangements. If you have an individualized culture with private homes, private cars, renewable energy doesn't work. It never will. It does more harm than good. You know, there's a lot of eco-villages eco out there who, who make different claims about what they do and that's all fine and good. But just at the level of basic physics, for renewable energy to work, it has to be on a village scale. It just has to be. If it gets too big, it breaks down. If it gets too small, it breaks down. It's really at that community village level is the only level at which it really works. It really works effectively. That's true for solar cooking, biogas, wood gas, solar electricity even. Big scale, you see these huge solar racks they want to put out in the desert? It's freaking idiotic. I mean, you're going to ship power all over the place. Why not generate the power where you're using it? 